Power Overload. Miss V, yo. Miss V. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your one and only Omawi, aka Osafumami Gang Gang, aka DJ Sassy. Today I'm back at it again with another video. But first, I just want to say thank you guys so much for commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing my previous video. And thank you so much for the support, IG. Today, I'm here with the squad. Okay. Okay. As you can see in the title, we are going to talk about life, living in Ghana versus living in America. And we've all lived in Ghana at a point in our lives. So first, we're going to introduce ourselves and... Let's get to the video. Yeah. What's good, guys? My name is Robert. So I go by Rob, Robert, Bear, and the Fizzle. So. Yeah. Savannah, you know, AKA Savito 3. Yeah. You know? <laughs> good. And I'm Kate. <laughs> and I'm so I guess I'm going to go first. Um, I've lived in the U.S. for, uh, let's see, I think a little over six years now. Um, I came here when I was 16, and I just turned 22 um, a few months ago. Yeah. I lived in Ghana for 17 years, and I came here like literally like a week before I turned 18. So, yeah, I've lived here for almost four years. Okay. I've been here for eight years. I came here in 2010 when I was 13, and, you know. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've lived here for about five years. And, um, I've lived in Ghana for eighteen years. Mm, okay. Yeah. This place is cold. <laughs> that is what I thought. Yeah. No, no. Lucky. My, my. I thought about like there was no homeless like people in America. No, 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 yeah, yeah, me no. Too, me too. your first impression. So when you got here, you mm -hmm. thought it was no homeless people? There was no homeless, like mm -hmm. American. Uh, I mean, for me, I just, I just thought everything was just different, you know. I, it didn't hit me like for like a couple of days before I realized that you know, I was in a different area because the smells are different. Mm -hmm. You're not talking about the Kanishi Gata smells or whatever. Mm -hmm. You're not talking about none of that. Oh, you know, no. the smell is different. You know, everywhere just smells good, you know what I'm saying? There's not a bad area. So, you know, it took some time to get accustomed to, but you know, when I first got here, I mean, I, I kind of felt like there's a place I needed to be, so. Yeah. And, and Not every, the Bronx kind of smell like. Okay. We're not going to talk about the Bronx. We're not going to talk about the Bronx. Okay, okay, okay. Because there's some places that really stink. You right, know, I'm not. Right. Okay, it, I'm probably sure there are places in Maryland that, that stinks too. Right. But not saying that the everywhere smells good. I think my first impression, I don't know, but when I got here, like, my brother and I were switching to. So that if like one person would stay inside and get warm and literally and want to look up to the things at the airport because we were so it was cold. cool. And my first no, I didn't react to it. I like, ate my first I, no. I didn't go out. I didn't react. <laughs> like I just didn't care because no matter what, I'll see snow all the time. Right. So I didn't. Yeah. Re um, caramel. They be like, no, they be like, they be like, you mean caramel? I was caramel. like, <laughs> 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 but it's the same thing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's probably the great job. Um, yeah, so I mean, for me, I, I felt like, you know, the language is going to be a little bit of a barrier for me, although I'm good at languages. Um, so I typically try to speak faster mm -hmm. so I, I can get rid of the accent like quickly. Oh, yeah. So, like, I mean, if you guys have noticed, like, I'm always like trying to like, go up on a tent. I'm, I'm yeah. always trying to speak faster. Yeah. Like, you people don't hear. People still try to catch. Because we all spoke English in Ghana. Yeah. Yes. So it wasn't kind of like, hard. yeah. It's, it it's different if I was coming from a Francophone country. Mm -hmm. yes. But like, I spoke English in Ghana. The only difference was, like, it was how like uh, people pronounce things, exactly. um, things here. Mm -hmm. And so it took a while. But even now, I can't pronounce some things. I remember one time my friends and I went to Fridays and I had to order something. I still can't even pronounce that word. I don't, I don't know if it's Cajun or whatever. Cajun. Yeah, but like I said, Cajon. <laughs> One thing with a language, you know, it says, you know, the British English, which is a spelling. Yes, like yes. And in American English, they have different spellings. Yeah. So, yes. you know, when we went to school, Hello. it had to be like a lot of things that we had to change. Favor. Yes. So many Favor things. Favor you know, you might know it, but you're, the teachers are gonna mark you wrong, and then yeah, you have to come back true. home, and then you know you do that yeah. one to try and correct yourself. Yeah. So I know, yeah. right? I was like, open your boots. They were like, there you go. Oh, they're they're like, trunk, trunk. Trunk. Yeah. And then one time I was like, I'm in the queue, and they're like, what's the queue? But they're talking about the line, line. line, you know? Or like, call it go slow in Ghana. Here is traffic. Oh, 
thing is like American food is full of constipation. Like <laughs> bread, 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 bread. <laughs> um, I swear, like Boy, I'm, 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 <laughs> pizza, bread, everything is like there is bread involved. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, I'm telling you, bread, you know, when, yeah. when you go to Olive Garden and some dudes bring you bread as a bit yeah. you go to these restaurants, they give you chips as a bit I go to McDonald's a lot, so, and it's full of bread. Kwame, it is Asian. full of bread. They will whoop you in Ghana. Here, they cannot touch you. That is one of the things I miss no. getting whooped. What? No, 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 because no. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no, no, because it was discipline. Honestly, I just wish I could whoop my brother here, but I can't touch him. I whoop my brother. Okay, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I think that's definitely no. a big piece. Man, it's with... time management. Like I'm always late to class in Ghana, but here I can't. Mm -hmm. Shoot in Ghana, like assembly wasn't necessary. Who did you, you go, go to? to? Yeah, Who did you so... go to? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I think in Ghana, the school system, especially like with, like, I don't know how to say, I just hope it doesn't come the wrong way, but like the lecturers want you to fail, but here they want you to pass. Like they are like, send me an email, come to my office hour, like I'll meet with you after class, you know, things like that, but like Ghana lectures don't care, you know? And like, I never liked math in Ghana, but I came to the US and mm -hmm. loved math. Yeah. It's how they teach yeah, us, you exactly. know? I would pick the school system here over Ghana, because yeah. I feel like the teachers have time for us. They feel like it's their job. Mm -hmm. Even when you're so grateful for what they've done, they're like, don't mention it, it's my job, I'm here to make you do well, you know? It's like, and you, yeah. you pay a lot of school fees, man. Like, yeah, but Ghana too. too. Ghana but, but, too Ghana, but you know, oh. even in Ghana, even here, we don't pay school fees till like, College. Yeah, but in Ghana we pay school fees, so sometimes school, yeah. they don't really, they're not really, really yeah, keen true. on making us. But like, well. honestly though, I feel like if I hadn't gone to school in Ghana, I would have my whole mentality about school would be so different because I the discipline that. I got in I Ghana, that. that's the reason why I'm doing well here. Because yeah. if you look at some of these American kids, hell, they don't yeah, care I, about I feel nothing. Like, I, I feel um, like academic wise here they are really academic help. On, on but moral life. Moral, mm, mm. Yeah. Nah. Um, and uh, yeah, and I think one, one thing I want to add to you know that discipline piece. You know, when I went, when I first went to high school, mm -hmm. you know, I was in ninth grade and I was like sixteen, so I was mature. You know, people mm -hmm. in ninth grade are like typically thirteen, fourteen. And you know, when I, mind you, I was in eleventh grade, but I was in SS two back in Ghana, about to graduate like the next year. Yeah. Um, and you know, so you know, all these kids were acting rowdy. Like, I mean, I was like, I'm like, I'm an adult, so I'm not even gonna join you guys and do it. Like, I just you know, stay on my phone during lunch and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, what have you? But you know, these kids, the way they talk to teachers, hey, the way they yeah, act to teachers, it's, you it's crazy. Not. It's yeah. crazy. You that, I'm, 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 I saw yeah. someone sit there and I stare at them. Yes, yes Ghana, madam. You yes, would have yeah, been. Yes, yeah, 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 you, you are the yeah. highness. Yeah. I shall yeah. do what you and want. And one thing I've noticed is like, like their facial like look or like the way they look doesn't matter. Like you see, like this food, tall guy with a lot of beard but behaves childish. Have you noticed? But most of the time, yeah, they, are, they have beard and things like that, but they are thirteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I just it's feel yours. like, yeah, I just feel like. There, I, I, I remember one time the bus driver didn't believe I was in college. Like he really, he thought I was like using someone's. I mean, eyes. they still don't believe me. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, look at this beard. It's not an issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't even enjoy it. Struggle beard. The red You should cut it. Yeah. But yeah, but I think again, you know, in Ghana, with the graduate education system, I, me personally, okay, everybody might have their own opinion, and I might wrap people the wrong way. I think the Ghana system is set to fail people yeah, who yeah, are not true. in that pathway. Because again, as no, Marvino was saying, with the, that's, money, true. that's true. But, too, you know, with, 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 with uh, Marvino was saying, <laughs> you know, in Ghana, you know, the, you have to do this and that. I wasn't good at math either. Mm -hmm. So I knew I wasn't going to go to college because I know yeah, so I'm not going to pass. Math, I, know, yeah, I, know, yeah, I, know, yeah, I knew yeah. I wasn't going to pass. Yeah, you're not going to go. Yeah, well, well, math. Yeah. I knew I was going to pass the WASI or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm But Robin is a 4.0 student. I mean, oh, yeah, 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 As opposed to here, you know, again, as she said, they, they want you to pass. Sure. Yeah. So when I came here, I started taking math. I was getting A's, and I'm like, yeah, well, in Ghana, yeah. I was because here they want to make sure that you're doing what you have to do, and they, they're trying to help you give assistance mm -hmm. every step of the way. Whereas Ghana, we don't have that, and this might be a money issue. You know what I mean? Yeah. We don't have the resources to provide sure, sure. for you know the students. But I think you know, as a country, we must come a long way. The fact that you fail one class, one of the core subjects, doesn't mean you don't have to go. You know, you can't go anywhere. Yeah, you know, that, yeah. That's how the system is set.
in everybody's nose is in their business. Confirm. Like oh, if I do something, like, like if I do something, my next door neighbor well, can like you, poop me because they said what well, a, a whole village raises a child. It takes a village, village to raise a child. child. Mm -hmm. But here I like uh, no, well, no mm -hmm. one cares. Mm -hmm. But even here, I'm I find myself in a Ghanaian community, so it's like everybody's nose is in my business. So if I do something right and like so far as the Ghanaians around. Some somehow someone is going to talk about it. My parents are going to hear about it. Not that like I'm a, I'm a bad child, but, but like you know, if I really did something, mm -hmm. someone somehow someone is going to talk about it. Right. And here is like once someone is sixteen, they they can work. So people children become really independent early. Yes. That's why first of all they feel like well you're not taking care of me, so you can't be telling me when to come home, yeah. when to you know. Yeah. But in Ghana, our parents take care of us, so we are done with college. Mm. They pay our fees and stuff like that. But like here, some parents make their children pay their own tuition because well the, because the life here is really different. So I just think that it has its pros and cons. Right. And in yeah. Ghana, life is less stressful. You know what I mean? But I think, you know, with the community yeah. issue, you know, as you said, you know, again, it's, yeah, everybody it's, does their own thing. But again, I think, you know, with the working at 16th, and, you know, again, I talked to, you know, I talked to some people about it, and they're like, you know, it kind of prepares you. Because, yeah. you know, in Ghana, you just say, you know, just. Yeah. It does like so, like so Yeah, you, it does. You, everybody, you know, it prepares everything for you, yeah. and then you're, you're, you're And you're not getting gone. a job, but and you know, like, oh. in, you know, here, when you're 16, you can get a job, so you can oh, start learning how to, you know, make money yourself, save, time management, you know, because again, if you're working, you're 16, you're still going to school, you're still in high school, you're in 11th grade. You know, time and it just prepares you for the real world. Yeah. As opposed to Ghana, you know, where, you know, yeah. I'm not saying we don't do that, but it's not as you know encouraged. You know we don't yeah. work till like you know we are done with school and you know stuff like that. So yeah. every I think that's like, mm -hmm. like, Have you noticed that space matters in America? Like the space. What do you mean? Like, like, like I'm saying, like you can't get too close to a person. True. Yeah. 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 People are doing yeah. this. My brother. Yeah. Guys yeah. and yeah. guys yeah. will help, yeah. and nobody will yeah. say anything right. about it. But yeah. Yeah. that's all gay. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That is so true. No, but now even in Ghana, they think it's gay. Like if like. But that's the American mentality. Like that's like really like Yeah. Yeah. I feel like right now. I feel like right now Ghana has changed so much. It has. It has changed so much. It's not the Ghana we used to know. Oh yeah. Yeah. It has changed. So much. Even though I left there like four years ago or three years ago, I know that it has like has changed yeah. so yeah. much. Because again, yeah. you know, when I go on social media and I see this, and I'm, like, hey, I'm, like, I'm like, you know, when I was there, we didn't have hey. that. Or maybe I just didn't know. But again, I lived in. I didn't know. I didn't know you. I didn't know YouTube. I'm sorry. I didn't know YouTube. But it's in Ghana. But like now, it's like the country's like so advanced. Yeah, it's, it it's really crazy. is. It's I mean, it's a good thing for the country that we want to grow. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So we don't want you don't want to leave somewhere and then come back to the same thing. You yeah, know? you want to come back and see it, it doing better. You know, changing, yeah. you know, doing something good for itself. Yeah. So yeah, we support here, that. Here, the motto you stay by yourself. Don't get into somebody's yeah. business or you get shot. Shot. Oh, yeah. 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 Don't knock on somebody like just you if somebody knocks on the door, don't open, open it. it. Like no, all these know, things yeah. like stay in your room yeah. and all those things. Like, Ghana, yeah, I can do the thing. thing. Ghana yeah. go play. Yeah. Deep. Yeah, but, but, but I do like see changes like when you see like Ghana goddess, right? There isn't it nasty to you like before? It's like I don't. It's know, part of you. But yeah, but too. now like when you go back to Ghana, you see all this. You see like people sleeping on the floor on the ground. Like that, don't you feel some type of way? No. Yeah, I, I feel like 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 I just I don't feel some type of way. I don't feel disgusted. Because I just it's feel like too. a circumstance. Right. Yeah, but I just yeah, feel like people are neat. people don't have. But as, when you go to DC, you see all these homeless people. But then downtown, I'm talking about yeah. Ghana, so you see, you see like Ghana's goddess, like, goddess, like choke. Well, of course, but that's 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 like. Um, I mean, you are gonna kill some away, some a little bit, yeah, but that's it's just like, even I was here too and I saw, I saw a god, I'm super the like, yeah, no, like, the reason I'm saying this, right? Before, when you know, in Ghana, right? Mm -hmm. When when I play soccer and the ball falls inside the gutter, right? It's nothing, I'll pick oh, it yeah. up, yeah. but now it's like, but when now you're grown, like, yeah, it's all your America, 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 if you didn't come in, I wasn't going to say this, mommy. I'm not public or in nature. You just have to know that, you know, like, I'm not, yeah, I have to take care of myself. It's not about you living in Ghana or America. I think there are people who are neat freaks in Ghana. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with where we're So, Kwame. I'm not hating, but that's that's everybody. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I'll tell you if I go to Ghana. Mm, hello. I'll stay.
stay in my house. I will stay. Oh, what? Well. <laughs> kind of fashion make me look like I don't. Hey! hey. No, oh. like, honestly, I think we can compare them because if you can dress, you can dress. It doesn't matter where you are. But like, I feel like there's some type of thing. We call Ghana, and when you go to Ghana, right, and then you dress, people see it as bogasembi, or like, there is just something about your dressing that might be a little different mm -hmm. from like how Ghanaians dress. Right. But I don't know. But I, I don't know. Right now, I don't see the difference. Yeah, uh, me neither. I, I just feel like again now that it's so bridged together. Again, that maybe this is what I see on social media. You mm -hmm. know, so, social media. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you know the people on that social media typically dress like us. They dress like us. Yeah. But yes, again. Yes. Social media is just a fraction of the pulling down. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, there's gonna be so many people there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so many people that are gonna be true. where we live. So where we live. But I used to live. Yeah. That, you true, know, true. I don't know. You know, so yeah. those yeah. are from the village. Maybe, maybe that we know. Because, like, my neighborhood, right? <laughs> oh, man, why are you laughing? I don't oh, know. No, I'm listening. Come, come here, listen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, bro. Oh, let me talk. <laughs> so, what, what I'm saying is, my neighborhood, right? It's all about brand names. Like, it's. It's either Nike, like brand names. Like, she, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. You're, talking about, you're talking about fashion, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're talking about, you guys don't know, like, the difference. You're saying it's how you dress. But mine, it's all about brand name. Like, like your brand stands But up. let me tell you something. You can wear something that is Gucci and it's ugly. In America, okay, listen. Kanye West has dread outfits the with holes. With holes in them. Yeah, if I wear those, my mom is going to tell me that I look like a villager. But they're so People wear it. And I don't care about that. People can buy no, these no, like no, no, right. and then rock it like they bought it. You know, what, you know what's funny though? What, you know, my dad, we typically send stuff together like almost mm -hmm. like every year, like three or four times a year. And then one time my dad took like these like her jeans shorts. Her jeans. And then when they got them, my grandma was like, the dad, but that was one time. I remember one time. And my dad said, Mommy, now jeans are I can't check that. I'm like, No, you cannot talk about my friends. But the thing is, don't you yeah. also wear those ribbed jeans too? Yeah. It's like a thing. I mean, about brand names because you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm always doing yeah, the brand name. I, like, yeah. I like all the designer okay. stuff. But I think, you know, as long as you're able to make some much, you can, you, yeah. can get, you can get a brand name shirt. Yeah, but even though, you know, with the, honestly, you know, here, people like dress pants. on thrifts. Thrift like, stores. And they look, stuff, and they look good. They, good. they look paid. I think yeah. it has to be, again, it's, it has has to be high. Time. You it can really dress. Matter. So we can't be compared. Yeah. If you're in Ghana and you can dress, you can, you can dress. dress. If you're in America, the, because there are people who are here that can dress poorly. Like, mm. it's, it doesn't matter. Oh, I dress yeah. in Of course, you is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Why? Why? You can answer why? Because look at this weather. Look at the snow. <laughs> look, at, look at the view, man. Ghana. Before you see a star building, unless you go to the city. You're lying. You're lying. <laughs> What kind of, what kind of you live in? What kind of you live in? Okay, okay, I honestly feel like okay. What are you? What are you living? Look, I honestly feel like everybody has their opinion about Ghana, depending on how they how were brought up, and where, where they, they lived. lived. And like everybody also has the opinion in US. You could have a comfortable life in Ghana, but when you get here, things get harder yeah, for you. you. Or you can have like a really harsh life yeah, in Ghana, yeah. but when you get here, mm -hmm. like you are like enjoying life. Yes. Me? I say, no, I would, I would say look, it depends. Though, but if I try to go back and live in Ghana, would you? Let me tell you something. Yeah. If, I, if I'm stable, I will move in a heartbeat. Oh, man. I mean, I think for me, for where my career and where I'm planning to do, mm -hmm. it's possible for me to move to Ghana, to Ghana and so succeed. It's possible yeah. for me to stay here and so succeed. But um, I feel like I've built like so many. Because when I left Ghana, all my friends, everybody that I knew right now, they're probably gone on, moved from where I used to be. So when I go to Ghana, I'm not gonna have the same bond and the same thing that I felt, you know. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I've built like I've built a new bond here that I feel like I would be more comfortable living here. But I can go to get Ghana. Yeah. Right. I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah, me, yeah. I feel like regardless wherever I go to, I'll be comfortable. It was same, man. Yeah, I know. No, I mean because I'm talking about you. No, because have me, friends. I still have, keep my friends. I still, friends. I still talk to my friends. I lost friends. my friends. Yeah. You see, yeah. Yeah. I, and I got I came here after high school. Yeah. Yeah. So there was yeah. no way I was going to leave my friends. These yeah, are people yes, yes, I yes, have like so bonded with. Right. But then the thing is, what because I lived there or I grew up there, I still have my friends. But obviously, people are everywhere. When I came here, I also made friends. Yeah. It just if I had to weigh options, my major um, is booming in America, and Ghana is in dire need of that. But till I'm stable, until I know my left and right with my major, I will just get up and go. Because honestly, in life, financial stability is the important. most important thing. Yeah. So I will just get up and go to Ghana. But like, when it comes to like less stress, when it comes to being about to like being able to move 
easily having fun and things like that i will vow i'll go to ghana any day america is very stressful honestly it is stressful but honestly the opportunities it comes with is greater than in ghana See, have so, you ever, I, I haven't seen like dust in america this is the thing. Kwame lives with white people, you know. Yes. Kwame, Kwame, Kwame lives in the bush yes. neighborhood, oh, so yes. he doesn't worry about no. that. So those of us that are like, yeah. 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 you know, we as you said, the opportunities here are. Huge. And endless. Abundance. And they're, endless. they're endless. Yeah, 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 Thanks for lack of a better way. Many opportunities here. Anything. Like you're gonna find something to do. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it, mm -hmm. it makes the living a little bit easier and less stressful when it comes to that. Just the, the work that you have to do to get to that is oh, a little bit more. Yeah. So I think again, with regards to time and you know when you came here, again, this is where I feel like I have to be right now. Because I'm going to school here, I'm yeah. ready to go to grad school and you know, all the good stuff. Yeah. So it has to be here. And maybe later in life, you know, yeah. we talk to a lot of the you know the adults. They are 60, you know, they want to go back to Ghana, Retirement. you know what I mean? Retirement. But, uh, so I think that's the thing. They've, like they've they been working for like a long yeah. time here, so I feel like they need that break. Yeah. You know? yeah. What are you going to do? Like, like if Obekwa, what, this is where you have to, I feel like for me, in my opinion, this is where you live the life and make the bucks yeah, yeah. and make the money yeah. so that yeah. in your old age when you live when you leave and go to ghana you're just good you you probably invested in so much business that you just right. sit home and the yeah, money will be coming, coming to you yeah and you know we know how the ghana money is now look at the dollar is like yeah well ghana city is 50 cents <laughs> yeah. so it's very heavy yeah. you make a lot of money you take right. it back you know it's, it's yeah, honestly for me i'm thinking about being rich but I, I can't just be rich without touching nobody's lives. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Okay, so okay. if I'm here and I'm making the money, I've been able to like help this country a little bit, I'll move to where they need me because that's my home regardless, you know? That's like, but when it comes to health wise, um, academics and things like that, opportunities laid in front of you, getting jobs and being stable here in life, is here is the best yeah. for you. Raising kids, you can raise your kids and, you, and instill your morals in them. I know people who were born here, but their moral level is 100%. Absolutely. They are respectful, they are this, so it all depends on how you raise your kids, you know. And like, I, I'll honestly choose here to just work and make the money make something and, yeah, yeah, and, back and move back to Ghana. Right. This is not the life, honestly. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, it was just because we've lived in two countries we kind of have an upper hand and we kind of know what um life is like in ghana and what life is like here so we just decided to do a video just in case you're here and you don't know how life is like in ghana yeah, you can find just in case you're in ghana and you're coming you Depend you know, yourself you bring know jacket. what to expect mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed it but you know we have uh, a tradition on this channel before you go we have to like Listen to good music and dance to a song. He can't and dance, so no, he can't dance. Kwame is always the odd one out. Americanized, the Manchesterized. Yeah, as I did sleep, I be counting my ceilings. Oh my God, what I'm feeling. 21st century, so she go tell